Hello, this is the Radio One Breakfast Show. I am Dr. Nicholas Grimshaw, and taking on the heart rate monitor challenge today is my patient, the wonderful Rebel Wilson. Hi, Nick. Hello, what patient. What should I say, Doctor? Dr. Grimshaw, I'd prefer. Yeah. And you have a medical degree? Yeah. Rebel Wilson currently lying down in a hospital bed. Medical professionals have attached her to a heart rate monitor. Basically, the challenge for you is going to be to keep your heart rate as low as possible. Yeah. However, I'm going to do my best to increase it through okay. a series of surprises, some things I might have up my doctory sleeve. All right. Yeah? All right. First up, does this handwritten note mean anything to you, Rebel? Oh, yes. Yes. OK, it says, Dear Justin, my name is Kelly Osborne. And my name is Rebel Wilson. We think you should take our sexy hot asses out after the show in brackets, nothing weird. <laughs> and then we gave him an option to tick yes or no. Yes. And then we gave it to his bodyguard and he ticked yes. <gasps> and so that's my thumb in the picture holding it. And then we're like, it's on. It's on. Yeah. And was it on? And Justin, like within 10 minutes, came down to our box uh -huh. and we partied with him for the rest of the night. And that's actually what we're going to do now is deliver your and Justin's baby uh, right yeah, now live news flash. on Radio yeah. 1. Yeah. Three years ago, I got pregnant and yeah. now it's coming out finally. Yeah, it took three years because you've been busy, he's been busy. <laughs> I know, and, and some babies need a bit more time. Yeah. <laughs> Two and a yeah. bit years more time. Yeah. Um, next up, what does this picture Sorry, do for you? Justin. <laughs> Why are you showing me that picture? I just wanted to see if we... Heart rate going it. Is and it, it? Is, it is increasing. Oh, oh, oh it's, it's, it's hitting 105. Oh, oh, wow, it's got a blow. <laughs> She's gonna blow I the machine. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. breathe. I gotta um, breathe. There he How'd is. you get that picture? Yeah, I took it. Oh. <laughs> and the picture there, uh, quite a famous one of when Justin broke the internet yeah. by going as any normal, you know, sane famous person should do, taking all your clothes off on holiday and going swimming. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. And um, okay, well we're gonna okay. move on from Justin Bieber's penis. Okay. Um, yeah, because it's still in my face. Yeah. <laughs> How about we go back to some of your early acting work? I have on my records All here right. um, something from, from over 10 years ago. Could you tell us about the Good Samaritan? Well, I'll never forget him, that's for sure. His face was a skull, and it was on fire. On fire? Yeah, like... Like that much fire. And I know it sounds weird, but it looked okay on him. I mean... It was an edge look, but he totally pulled it off. Ah, oh, that so was the movie Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Now, this was like your first big Hollywood movie. Yeah, it was. Starring, um, you know, Nicolas I beat, Cage. I beat out 300 girls. How was it going to work with Nicolas Cage? I mean, a Hollywood A-lister. I've actually been banned from talking about the experience. <laughs> by who? By him and his publicist. What? Because things happened that day. What, we have a Nicolas Cage embargo? Yes. An NCB. Yeah. I don't know what they're hiding. <laughs> oh, is it the wig? I can't, I can't confirm or deny. I've, I've been well, banned. What happened if you talk about I'm Nicolas talking. Cage? What do you mean? What did they like, let really come around to your house and I like, don't know. You? But I got a serious three page letter from no. them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> saying, saying nothing now about Nicolas Cage. Oh my God, or he's going to come around. I'm scared. Oh my God, my he might send like his. Heart rate yeah, heart rate's going high. high. His heart rate's going high. It's going to yeah. blow. It's going to blow. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to go back a little bit further now. I've been delving into your, oh to your records here. I've never seen this. It's incredible. This video okay. is the video that I've been telling everybody about. Brace yourself. Okay, yeah. Rebel. Yeah, okay. Let's watch this. Oh, no. Well, the first day of acting class, it's just a car. Don't play <laughs> <laughs> this is from, okay, this is Stunning. from my high school auditorium. Heart rate's dropping. I have no idea why I'm wearing, like, it looks like my mum's clothes. <laughs> uh, like a smart blazer. Yeah, uh, and trousers. Yeah. It's quite a fantastic look, Rebel. Yeah, and I'm singing a song from a chorus line. Did you do a lot of performances at school? I did. I did, like, a couple musicals. Uh -huh. I did Grease. And I did Fiddler on the Roof. Yes. And I actually fell from the roof. Oh. <laughs> and that's how I first became famous in my area. Oh, really? Yeah, for falling.
falling from the roof. A great roll. In fitter on the roof. And everyone thought I was dead. <laughs> oh. Turns out I only sprained my ribs and my wrist. Oh. Yeah. Do you need them looking at while you're here? Mm. Oh, okay. I think we'll it's We'll check right them out now. after this. Yeah. yeah. Make sure they're all right. Yeah. yeah. Um, we could carry on asking you questions and going through this medical report. But I uh-huh. actually do have some footage now from a, a fellow Australian actor. Okay. Uh, let's see if this person can get your heart racing. Rebel, hi, it's Hugh. Uh, okay, so I'm going to talk about a topic which I have a feeling might get your heart going. Dem and I, we love you. We think you're amazing. You know that. I've told you that. But when you took on the weekly kind of tabloid magazines in Australia, you became our hero. I want to know, how did you feel when you sent off that letter to take you on that magazine? Oh, oh, juicy. Oh, isn't he Jackman a darling, first a darling. of all? I guess, um, so I was involved in the biggest defamation case now in Australian history. Whoa. And what a lot of people don't know is that I am a lawyer. What? Yeah. When? Yeah. I graduated law school in 2009, Nick. Hang on. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you're a liar. <laughs> Right? No. Uh, oh, oh, did you say lawyer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I thought well, you said liar. And I was oh. going to be. That was the subject of the defamation case. So you're and a I was proved liar. not to be a liar. Uh, yes. Um, yeah, the mag. I took on the Australian um, media and won. And As I, a whole. I won millions of dollars this year, guys. Sick. Yeah, I'm going to give it away to charity. And wow. then I saw Taylor Swift in her court case was said she was going to give it away to charity too. And I was like, did she see my case? Yeah, probably. And was like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the same. But uh, yeah, when I had to take on a huge organisation that was actually owned by German billionaires, I was pretty, like, freaking out. Yeah. Am I high rate going up? Yeah, it, it went up to 5,000. Okay, yeah. 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 Um, okay, Rebel, you can breathe a, a sigh of relief. Okay. The heart rate monitor test is over. Okay. My report showing here that the thing that got your heart rate going was Australian media quite high. Quite yeah. high, got you going quite high. It's the thing yeah. close to your heart. But nothing got your heart rate going as high as Justin Bieber's Jerry. The name. He picture. calls it Jerry. Oh, great. It's got a name. Does it? Yeah. Who's that named after? I don't know. Jerry Halliwell? <laughs> it's a bit ginger. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Spice Girls, they're awesome. Thank you, Rebel. Thank you for having me. Rebel Wilson, everybody.